The following segment is sponsored by Eastern's Automotive Group. We know how the pandemic changed everything, including a local nonprofit's mission. Once focused on a global mission, the founder saw a great need outside her own door and she stepped up to help. I'm just saying, Lord have mercy, you get to feed homeless and then all of a sudden here you are on TV, like who does that, you know? To say Connie Denton was surprised by our call is an understatement. I mean, you just do what you do because you enjoy doing what you do. It's not like you're doing it because you want recognition. It's just, so thank you, it's an honor, it really is. This volunteer work Connie commits a big part of her life to is helping children in developing countries. As the founder of the nonprofit, Just One Inc. We came from seeing children developing nations that were not educated, couldn't afford to go to school, couldn't afford books, no books. I mean, it was just sad. Connie set out to help just one child at a time. And over the years, she's now helped about 1,000 children. So we educate, we empower them, and we equip them to be part of creating a great global nation. But like everything in the pandemic, her mission transformed these past 12 months when she witnessed a desperate need right outside her own door. Ellen, when I saw the line, there were people in lines just to get food. It was amazing to see how many persons were in need. She turned her nonprofit's focus from just one child to just one senior or just one homeless individual struggling to survive during the pandemic. Connie's created a team to help her deliver groceries to seniors who can't leave their homes and spends her weekends dropping off food and clothes to people without shelter. I ask her how many people she's helped this year. We can't count because like this Saturday we go on the street, we do our street feeding. So we'll just drive up and down the street. We're going to be Hyattsville, North Capitol, Georgia Avenue, and we'll just go. While Connie was busy helping lift up people in our community, Eastern's Automotive was busy behind the scenes to offer its support too. My family has experience with hunger in the past, and, and um, it just touches us to be able to share that with individuals and, and finding people like Connie who are bringing that to their community in such a great and beautiful way and adjusting to the current situation and still making sure that their community is fed and happy um, is, is a really beautiful thing. Which led to this amazing moment that Connie never expected. Okay, well, I know you were excited to come on today to talk about your project and like get some word out. I have a message for you from... Um, Joel, he's from Eastern's Automotive. I'm going to try to turn it up. Honestly, just one. You guys are doing amazing work. You're supporting your community. You're feeding those who are hungry and, and doing it in the best and most safe way for the time that we're living in right now. We want to donate $2,000 so you guys can keep spreading that cheer. He says he, says he wants to help donate $2,000 to your ah! organ. <laughs> help like what you can use it to purchase some things it will be a great help because now we're just going to add instead of just taking food this weekend we're going to add a couple of hats and maybe blankets we're going to add on to that it's been financial has really been challenging it really has been so this is a great help i praise god for just touching the hearts of the organization to make us one of the recipients of their grants yeah. and thank you too oh my god it was so fun to surprise her. For more information on how Eastern's Automotive Group helps the community, you can head to WUSA9.com slash better community.